Hi Dresser Cuties, Wynn here. Today we're going to draw Ember from Elemental. So let's get started. To draw a cute Ember, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and we're going to draw a curve coming down. So come up right here. And come down. This curve and then we're going to connect it. So this is higher up, this is lower. And we're going to come down here and connect it with a curve there. And then let's come inside and we're going to draw. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do that later. <laughs> let's draw the other one first. Sorry. So using this point, let's come right across about this much. And we're going to draw the same thing. So let's go up. And come down. And then once again, we're just going to curve up. Or a slant. There, so we've got these two um, eyes in here, the shape, and then we're going to come back now and draw a circle inside. So towards this edge a little bit more, we're going to come right here, and we're going to draw a circle right there, and then we're going to draw another one. And then right about here, I'm going to add another circle for a highlight and shade this part all in. There. So same thing on this side. So towards this edge a little bit more. Then from there, we're going to draw her lashes, which are kind of like flames. So we're going to come through up here, like her lashes. We're going to come about right here, draw a curve, and we're going to draw three of them. Down one more, and about right here, we're going to continue her eye shape. There. So same thing here. Just go up. Continuing her eye, and then we just go up one, two, and three, and continue this. There. So once you color it all in, it'll make a little bit more sense. It'll look a lot better. <laughs> Okay, so then from there, let's go ahead and draw her nose, which is basically an angle. So let's come about like right here. We're going to draw an angle and another angle, the top of a triangle basically. And then let's give her a smile. So about right here, and give her a big smile and go up and cap it off. Then from there, let's draw her brow. So I'm going to come up about right here, right over her eye. And I'm just going to wobble it, do a little bit of wave, and same thing here. Do a little bit of wave. Just remember, we're drawing fire. <laughs> There. Okay, so then from there we need to draw her head shape, which is basically a ball of fire, right? So, um, a little bit tricky. So let's just imagine this curve is continuing out. So about right here, I'm just going to skip a little bit of space and give myself a point. So same thing here. Just imagine it's continuing up and just give yourself a point. From there, we're going to start by going out with one small little curve and then bring it in. So same thing here, curve out and we're going to bring it in. So we're going to bring in this shape right underneath. So her chin area, let's find the center and about right here. Just kind of imagining how low I want it. But right there, I'll give myself a point. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw this curve. It's going to be a little bit sharper towards the center for the chin area. So just bring a curve, turn your body or the paper, whatever you need to do to draw this curve. There. And so same thing here.
there. Okay, so let's bring this. This looks. Oh, it's okay for now. Let's see. I'm gonna make it a little bit sharper. Okay, so then from there, now we're going to draw three main um, prongs of fire. So um, the top one, the center one being the tallest. So I'm going to start right here. And we're going to go up. So just take a look back and forth. And I'm just going to start right about here. Curve it in. Come out. And so same thing here. I'm going to change it up a little bit so it's not so um, even. And about right here. Curve in. There. So basically you just want these two sides and then a center one. So let's see here. Now that we have that for the two sides, let's go up. All right, right here, and then our center one. So about right here's my center, go up, and then we're gonna bring this flame down to about right here. Curve, and then just go ahead and connect. There, so hopefully that wasn't too hard. And then come back in and make any adjustments you need, of course. Okay, so like I said, my main goal is just to create this sharp point for the center with these flames to make it look like her hair. And then from there, you can add some flames, like sparks here and there, just to sell the idea that we're dealing with fire here. <laughs> so maybe one here as well. And one here. There. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and draw her body. So right in the center, we're going to come about right here. And here, we're just gonna draw this V shape for her neck. And then we have this beautiful collar that we need to draw. So and it's very intricate. So I'm gonna come out about right here and curve in and then round this part around. And then this part right here is just going to come down and in. So hopefully you could see that. So right here, once again, pop out with a curve and round it off. And this is gonna come down at an angle and then connect in. There. And then right about here, we're gonna come down for her shoulders. And before we finish her arms, let's come about right here. And we're just gonna cut it off. So let's just go straight down to make it easier, go straight down, and then we're going to bring it in for a tiny, tiny waist. And connect. And come back in here for another layer for her waist. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're gonna pop out her skirt. So Nice and wide towards the bottom. There, let's bring it down a little bit more. About right there, and then connect it. And now to draw her legs. So find your center, about right there, and both sides two little lines and then about right here we're going to start so let's start this leg first and just remember you're drawing like a flame so we're just going to wobble and we're going to wobble and let's give her a tiny little foot at the bottom so it's a wobble down 
let's say about right here. Just curve it out a little bit and bring it in. So same thing here, just wobble. And same thing here. And then come down. The point. If only feet were all that uh, were all so simple to draw, right? <laughs> okay, so then the arms are the same thing. It's just very wobbly as well. We're gonna bring her hands down to about right here where her skirt is. So let's come down and wobble. And just bring it close to her skirt. And let's see here, about right here, he's gonna draw a thumb. And everything's kind of sharp because it's a flame. But we still want to look like hands and in. So same thing here. Just wobble a little bit. You use the side of her skirt so you don't have to draw too many details. And once again. Draw her hand. And we can also try to put in some flames here to make it look like her hands are flames as well. Maybe one more. There. And some little details on her dress. Um, I'm just gonna come right here and draw some diamonds. You one here, here, and I'll make this one a heart to make her white dress so cute. <laughs> Ember from Elemental, and I'll add two more right here. There, and let's see if I'm missing anything. Hopefully not, but um, that is basically it for my drawing here of Amber and definitely let me know. I haven't seen the movie yet, so please let me know in the comments below if you've seen this movie and what you thought of it and if it's worth going to watch. Thanks so much for watching and if I helped you draw this fun and easy today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.